Have you ever wondered what tools and documents accountants use in daily business operations? The SUA project will provide a full set of basic documents and tools that accountants actually work on in real life. Those include the instructions, flowcharts, and ledgers book, the journals book, transactions and price lists, reference book, and documents folder. First is the instructions, flowcharts, and ledgers book. Remember, this book is your best friend to help guide you through the entire project. It includes basic instructions such as policies and procedures. Also included in this book are flowcharts. There are different flowcharts for each type of transaction. The last part of the book contains the general and subsidiary ledgers. So if you have trouble with a transaction, you better ask your best friend, which is the instructions, flowcharts, and ledgers book. The next book is the journal book, and it works like a diary for businesses. This includes the general journal and special journal. The general journal is used to record unusual transactions. For example, when you realize a bad debt expense, you record it in the general journal. The special journal consists of five different types of journals, which are sales, cash receipts, purchases, cash disbursements, and payroll. These journals are, are used to record a specific type of transaction. For example, when you make a sale, it is recorded in the sales journal. So remember to check and update your diary frequently because most of the transactions will require a record in the journals. The third one is the transactions and price list. Remember, the transactions list and price list are provided to you by your professor. The transaction list includes all the transactions that you will need to process for this project. The price list is the last page in the transactions list, and it contains the purchase and selling prices for your inventory. Do not use the transaction and price list in the SEO project, or you will have to redo the entire project all over again. Next is the reference book. If you are stuck with the transaction, and you don't want to wait until your professor's office hours, it would be a great idea to look at this book. It contains many detailed examples of transactions. It also contains examples of financial statements and aging documents that you will have to create by yourself at the end of the project. However, remember not to copy exactly the format of those examples because each business has its unique accounts and balance structure. The last piece of material is the Documents folder. This is where you will find all other documents for this project such as Purchase Order and Sales Order. And pay close attention when you work on those documents because sometime in the future you will work on very similar documents. Do not start working on your project yet because we will discuss the most efficient way to start your SUA project in the next SUA video. Thanks for watching.